हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू जैकलिट एजुकेशनल चैनल सो मैं आप सबका एक बार फिर से आपके अपने चैनल जैकलिट में स्वागत करता हूं दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट द एक्सपेक्टेड कट ऑफ फॉर द यूजीसी नेट एनवायरमेंटल साइंस पेपर सो दिस इज बेस्ड ऑन द एनालिसिस आफ्टर योर आंसर कीज आर आउट सो योर रिस्पांस शीट्स आर आउट नाउ वी हैव टू डिस्कस एज आई सेड व्हाट विल बी द एक्सपेक्टेड कट ऑफ एज पर आवर एनालिसिस सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so guys let me tell you it is not all about the expected cut off we should know what the cut off depends on so cut off depends on the four important factors you must know number 1 is the total number of applicants applied in the subject so we are concerned about the environmental science paper so how many students have applied and appeared for this exam for this subject that will also decide the cut off percentage if you don't know the 6% rule for the ugc net jrf and ugc net ls then you can check the link given in the i button to know why number of applicants matter in the cut off percentage second thing is difficulty level of the exam so after analyzing the response sheet which i have got from the students then i can say that yes like always 15 questions so this time it is around 15 to 20 questions were out of the difficulty level that means very difficult level you can say but it was not that it was completely out of level so 85 questions around were from the questions and revision discussed in the revision video where we have discussed in the quizzes so it is not that whole paper was difficult so only 15 to 20 were the question coming out of the box but here no need to worry about that next thing is previous years cut off trends yes these are also very important factor in order to tell us that what can be the expected cut off for this year that means the previous years cut off for the paper that is environmental science we are talking about next is considering both paper 1 and paper 2 because we all know the combined mark the combined percentage will be called as the cut off percentage so 50 questions from paper 1 100 questions from paper 2 all 150 questions will be considered for calculating the cut off so all these things you have to keep in mind while considering for the cut off so now let's move on to the next slide so as i said earlier that we have to look for the previous years cut off also in order to analyze for this years cut off so these three last ugc net environmental science results will give us a some link some hint it will give that how the cut off goes so first we will go for december 2020 and june 2021 that is the last examination for the ugc net environmental science paper so here we can see that some people were telling that the number of jrf candidates were doubled so as we compare here 74 people they got the jrf but here in june 2020 49 people they got jrf in general category i am talking about so here this we can say a little bit of doubling but if we consider the other candidates that means ews obc and all they are almost in the same range so 47 33 and these things also ls you can see ls is the main thing that i can say that here ls is almost the same not double as we are thinking that it will be double because two exams are merged so ls candidate see 476 here 480 so these things we can't say that whether it will be double or it will be same it all depends on the number of candidates appearing and how much candidates ugc is going to give jrf in that particular subject so this is the thing which i wanted to tell you but here in june 2020 if you analyze you can see 204 was the cut off marks given for the general category for the ugc net jrf for the environmental science paper so this was the highest till now for the environmental science paper and this we should not panic because this was a very very i could say that it was a easy paper that's why the cut off were more so here we should not consider this thing but here again if we move on to the december 2019 we can see here that here 192 was the jrf cut off for the general category students and 38 students they got in this category so if we compare these things i would like to say that ls thing that for ls people the number of candidates are almost same even if it is a single exam or double exam combined but jrf sometime it will be increased and here only in the general category we can see it is almost a kind of double from december 2019 to december 2020 and june 2020 and paper as you can see it is a 
complete doubling of the number of GRF candidates but among other candidates that is LS candidates it is almost the same kind of thing and we can see that here 537 candidates got the LS in the general category I am talking but here even if it was doubled in the GRF category but in the LS category less candidates got LS so this is not we can say that it will be doubled or it will be same as I have said earlier so we can simply think that this year that is June 2022 204 was the cutoff mark that was the highest till now and 180 was the last time the UGC net environmental science paper the cutoff and 192 for the general category in the December 2019. So after analyzing all these things I have prepared expected cutoff things so let's move on to the next slide. So here on your screen you can see that I have prepared this table but this is not the final cutoff you should not get worried. So this is because of my only prediction it will vary and it varies every time but I have predicted that for general category this year the GRF category for the cutoff will be 186 to 188 marks will be the cutoff marks above which the people are safe so as per my prediction and for LS it will be 170 or 172 marks for the LS cutoff for the general category similarly for the EWS category it is unpredictable because EWS we don't know how many people have applied so this is a very fluctuating category EWS it can go to 176 and LS category cutoff for EWS can go around 156 similarly for OBC 172 will be the JRF cutoff as per my prediction above that it is a good score and LS cutoff 154 and above is a good score for the OBC category similarly for the SC candidate 164 marks if you are secured it is coming in the safe zone for the JRF and LS cutoff is 148 and finally for the ST category students 152 will be the JRF cutoff or 154 and 140 will be the LS cutoff for the ST candidates so this is the prediction many of you were waiting for this so I was busy on some other work so I was not able to prepare but I will say at the end that don't be afraid of these cutoffs these videos because you have done your work few more days and we are expecting the results so what will happen it will be best for you no need to worry about that even if you are not getting also next time is always there so all the very best for the results keep praying keep believing in yourself and keep smiling don't worry see you guys in our next video